I'm uh, Mania Angley and have had a long-standing interest in neurodiversity and uh, neurodevelopmental uh, conditions. And I think pharmacists can uh, provide services that will go a long way towards addressing that disparity. I think for a long time, it was considered a childhood disorder, and that's because symptoms first present in childhood. But we're now beginning to understand that children with ADHD become adults with ADHD, like other neurodevelopmental conditions. It's just that there is a better understanding and increased awareness these days and therefore improved case finding. So it's not that there are more people who have the condition, it's just that we are better able to identify it. ADHD may have been perceived by some as being a character flaw or a weakness, but it clearly isn't. But because of this reduced stigma, people are uh, more willing to seek a diagnosis and to get the treatment they need and to better understand um, their own condition. The reason why is because there are gender differences in symptoms and women generally experience more of the internalising symptoms, so more of the inattention um, as opposed to the hyperactivity or the externalising. So in children, the hyperactivity symptoms will be much more obvious in males and therefore they'll be, and, and they may be disruptive in the classroom, for example, or at home, and therefore a diagnosis will be sought. And um, other reasons, uh, in females, it can often be comorbid with conditions like anxiety or depression. And so that or those diagnoses are attributed to the female. Pharmacists are really well positioned to uh, deliver services to people with ADHD and pharmacists are highly accessible and they often have good relationships with their regular patients and as trusted primary healthcare providers, they can provide uh, information and education to the person affected by ADHD. Um, they can even provide an initial assessment. Adherence strategies is something that pharmacists are experts in and they can provide tips to support the person with organisation. Home medicine reviews are a great opportunity to sit down and give the person a good chunk of time to provide that education. Pharmacists are well equipped to provide tips around exercise and nutrition and sleep, which are all really important for the person with ADHD achieving their, their full potential. And pharmacists can um, work in collaboration with general practitioners to deliver coordinated and comprehensive care. Pharmacists can help with monitoring of side effects of psychostimulants, for example. So there's no end really of support that the pharmacist can provide a person and the team around them. So lots of opportunities. Pharmacists have good understanding of the stimulant and the non-stimulant medicines, but there are some things that pharmacists need to better understand, I think, around psychostimulants are not addictive if they're used in the therapeutic doses. Just to be upskilled, I guess, in ADHD and its symptoms and challenges and to be well positioned to model tolerance and understanding and empathy by being aware of those challenges and working with the person to better understand their own condition, but the people around that person. So it's really just broadening the knowledge base. There's a lot of resources available for health professionals, but it's also really helpful to read the consumer resources to really get a feel for the journeys that um, people with ADHD face.